So I played Tekken for the first time, and y'all be complaining. Just because I played Noctis, saying he is an easy to play DLC character, and that I wasn't playing a real Tekken character, that it didn't count. So how about I just learn Kazuya, who's voted one of the most difficult characters in Tekken 7. And at the beginning of the challenge, I thought, I play Melee, so how difficult can the execution be? And uh, man, just, uh, just you wait while uh, watching this video, it's, oh man, this was rough. So without further ado, let's jump right into a ranked match. All right, first game, first game, Fight. dude. I'm doing Noctis inputs. Oh no, I don't even remember what people did. Oh, I don't even know what the launcher move is. Like, how do I, how do I even begin my combos? <laughs> Imagine gets hit by that. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, I was just trying to remember what my rage button was, okay? My rage art button. The only thing I know to do is literally just press rage art, man. Oh, I might, I might be able to win. I might be able to get in here. Come on. Oh, I have one HP. Imagine I, I come back. That would be absolutely crazy. What do I do at this range? Like, what do I do? No, I don't want to do that move. I'm dead. God, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. And yeah, even though I played 100 games of Noctis last Tekken video, I still never ran into a Fang. So this was weird seeing like moves I've never seen before. Whoa, what? He just moved my hand? I was experimenting trying random button combinations and I found this. What? Okay, that's my my back one and two, I believe. <laughs> that's such a that's such a crazy move. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And then get him with a grab. Does he not adapt? <laughs> he doesn't. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna keep spamming it. Dude, I want that. And with that win, we got 45% way there to second dawn. Later on, I learned the move I was doing was back one plus four. And this attack, you cannot block from it. The unblockable is the, that's the scrub killer, dude. That's the scrub killer. So I knew no combos. So naturally I just went into the start menu and checked out the sample combos. So I practiced this one for a while and put it on my second monitor to remember it. And I don't know why I decided to learn the first combo is a counter hit combo, but I learned it anyway. So now we go back into ranked into game three and we play against Jin for the first time and I get bamboozled trying to do the counter hit combo that I literally just learned which is starts with the down forward two and it's just so hard to recognize you get a counter hit and then to remember like what to do after. No I can't uh it's I can't rem I have to look at the thing. Man, people be knowing their combos like crazy, dude. Like in the beginning ranks, like. Dang, I might, I gotta block. Like I am getting, I'm getting wrecked. And playing this Jin, I really saw how bad that unblockable move actually is. Oh, sidestepped it. This Jin used a move that dodged my low attack. Man, I can't get in, like, what the heck? So I did some research, and a staple move of Kazuya's is the Wind God Fist, and it took a little bit to get used to. Oh, it's kind of like a, that's a workout on my, my thumb to do that, okay. I see. Oh, I hit it, I hit it. Oh, I, I don't know what to do after it, though. <laughs> Wall balcony it into my super, which is probably not optimal. I was still trying to understand when I get wall splatted, what the heck am I supposed to do defensively? Damn, dude. Damn. Jab. I just jab after I block his hits. I think a bad habit I had from playing Street Fighter recently was I would do crouch block way too much. Damn, dude. This game's hard. 
I also just love to spam moves when it was not my turn. Dude, I'm getting destroyed, man. And it's funny, I thought I was getting destroyed back then. Later in this video, I get perfected three times in a row. Anyway, I was getting used to doing Wing God Fist after I was blocking. Oh, barely got my wind gun. And I'm not surprised. A lot of people like to rage quit in ranked, man. You just leave end game? End game nine, we played against Bob for the first time. What is this custom skin, dude? Round one. Wait, is he supposed to be Sonic? <laughs> I'm trying to do Wind God after block. It's oh, did I did I just do an electric? <laughs> How did I do that? At early levels, I guess jab is really good. <laughs> I can just jab. Do noobs not know how to beat jab? I remember doing that last video. <laughs> I just I just hit beat him with high jabs, dude. I'm still not good enough to actually complete the combo after I land a win god fist, but I still win, I guess. Oh, let's go. Also, Bob did this move that I don't know if I was supposed to crouch in the middle of it, but it didn't look like a true combo. What was that move? Was that like a legit like combo? Once in a while, I still gotta bring out the scrub killer. <laughs> but yeah, this game was getting close. Come on. Win this. Ah! Oh, I got it. And then I got a new PB of 55% to second dawn. I'm starting to make a little bit of improvement with following up the combo after the Wind God Fist. Oh, I finally did a combo after win god fist. I feel like in Tekken, to improve against a certain character, you really need to test a bunch of stuff and do a lot of rematches. Oh, I could duck that part. Good to know, good to know. Oh, crap, I'm getting like mixed up like crazy. And so it was day two of the challenge and to start off the day, I did some research and I found this thing called the hell sweep, which is my crouch dash into down forward two into one. And I also have this easy combo, one, one, two, which is really fast and it knocks them down. Game 14, we played against Dragunov for the first time. And dude, this guy pressures you so hard. I had no idea what to do when he was close. Dude, I'm like, I don't have like, I don't have panic options. Like, the hell? Like when he's like on me, I like, I feel like I can't do crap. Man, I'm just getting my ass beat, bruh. What do I do? When he hits you on the legs, that move is like 20 frames, but why is it so hard to react to, dude? Is man just farming me? <laughs> it's like, he wants to keep his plague. How did he react to that? Is he just spamming? <laughs> dude, I, this game's so damn hard, dude. You know what they say, to get better, you must play better people. So I made one goal, to just get one round. Dude, I get hit by like every low attack he does, and then when I start crouching a lot, I just get wamboed by the medium hits. Dude. What the hell, dude? I just like get... Cracked on, and I'm misinputting the one one two also. Oh wait, you could duck it like mid thing. Man, I don't know what to do. Oh, I did one. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Dude, I keep getting mixed. What the heck? never got one round. How many times have you played? Three, four, five, six times already? So I looked at my second monitor and I totally forgot to actually try and do hell sweeps in a match. 
Okay. I feel like that's not plus, but it, but it's not plus. Like I get punched for that. Out of my wave dash, crouch dash thing, I have certain moves that actually dodges highs. I just found this out by pressing <laughs> like different buttons. Oh, I dodged it. Oh wait, how did that not hit? Oh, oh god. Oh my god. I'm getting closer though. I think I'm getting closer. Hey, bro, he friend requested me. What is he gonna say? He's typing a message. He's typing a message. Are you new, bro? He thinks he's getting his ass kicked? Dude, I got destroyed, bro. By him in like 11 times in a row. Funny. And yes, late lettuce, I am. Honestly, I'm having a lot of trouble like doing this move. It's easier if I go straight down with my stick after the crouch dash. Also, this is the one that's called wave dash, <laughs> like in melee, but I guess it came from Tekken, but wave dash, you chain them together. And then game 23, I play against Yoshimitsu. Um, what the heck is this character? I can't grab that? What? Oh my God. Oh, that's why I didn't hit last time. It's a high. What? He ducked it? What does that mean when he kills himself or he stabs himself? <laughs> My first perfect with Kazuya, I guess. <laughs> okay. What is he doing? Does he get like a power up when he does that? Okay, no, this guy's just trolling, dude. What is this? Whoa, whoa, what the heck is happening? What? He just gave me HP? <laughs> this character is so troll, dude. Oh. I don't know if he's trying or not, or did I just win? What's, like, the stab self move about? What the frick? I feel like this is just a troll character, dude. What? <laughs> I like. What the heck? No, oh, come on. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> how do I. <laughs> what is this character? What? This character is so troll, dude. <laughs> Yeah, to play against this character, I think I genuinely have to do, like, research on him. Great. Ah, dang. Game is hard. Game is hard. Game 26 played against Lars for the first time, and this guy was weird, man. I just, at this point, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. Like, I was getting frustrated on how to just improve. Everyone's so damn good, dog. Everybody, what do I do? I was trying to experiment with being ambiguous if I was gonna go in or not. Oh, he's making it back. No! Yes! <laughs> Bruh. Like, at this point, honestly, would I, like, rank up ever? Think, I don't think I'll ever get this <laughs> second dawn, honestly, dude. What the hell? Dude, what am I supposed to be focusing on? Like, I don't know what, like, how do I, how do I learn or beat someone? Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't, like, so I know certain moves are high, right? And then I just gotta counter it, but frick, I don't know. Game 29 was against a Claudio for the first time. And a thing I noticed in this set was just really doing bad wake up options that I needed to improve on. Holy hell, I can't even touch him. Bruh, <laughs> what the frick? And also, why am I trying to do a slow move or even attack at all when I minus after hitting a wind god when he's on block? Like, why am I doing that, dude?
Man, it's hard. This game be hard, bro. So I was feeling stuck and I did some research and I realized that I have a launcher besides the Wind God launcher, which is a while rising launcher. And while rising just means that when you're crouching and then going from a crouch to a stand up, that's called while rising. So I launch them up and then combo three, two, four, back two into crouch dash three. So this is like my bread and butter combo I gotta actually hit in the game. And also I'm gonna replace my rage art with doing a drive move, which is a lot easier to hit. Game 31, we play against Mommy Mizumi for the first time, yay. And my big goal right now is to just hit the launcher and combo that I learned. Okay, I just screwed up the combo badly there. Freaking tiger? Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, barely want that. Let's go, let's go. And after failing it a couple times, this happened. Oh, yes, I hit the first one in game. Let's go. Also, this counter hit, I still can't do the counter hit combo. There, I just whiffed. I learned the counter hit combo in game three, and I still can't even do it in like an actual game. But anyway, this happened. Perfect. Is that my first true perfect? Not the Yoshimitsu one, I feel like doesn't count. And I think this is the fastest I ever applied something I learned because trying to do stuff in game that you learn in practice mode is so hard to do. Yes, let's go. Hit my first drive rush, baby. Woo, that one feels good. Like really improved on that one. Even when I did this challenge with Noctis, I don't think I've ever gotten this. Oh no, so close. Ah. <laughs> Time up. Time up. Wait, do I lose? What? Also a big problem, guys. Practice your combos on the right side also. Oh, I can't play on right side. Why did I do that? Frick, I don't know the inputs. I never... Dude, I should have practiced a little bit on the right side. Frick, it's... Uh, what do I do? My brain doesn't know. It doesn't know the muscle memory. Yo, it's my main. No, I'm playing against Noctis. All right, this will be fun. Little did I know, that was a straight up lie. Oh my god. Dude, what is this guy's internet, dog? And then I think I just got hit by the most embarrassing thing you could get hit by in the game. What? You can throw pizzas? Is that an item thing? What the frick? Wait, he could use the gun? Wait, what the frick? And I was holding back. Oh, I didn't do the transformation yeah. version. Yeah. The taunt into counter. That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. And honestly, maybe people were right about Noctis. Maybe he is too easy of a character, because, man, like, I know the inputs he's doing, and I'm getting wrecked. Dead? Yeah. Dang, that was close. But I don't want to replay this guy because that lag was ridiculous. Holy crap. And then I ranked up against a Fujin King player. So this is my first king and they're really good. So this is not going to be fun. Or does that make it more fun? Hmm. I don't know. Bro, what the? But I rematched him as much as possible because maybe I could learn from, from it. You could just grab me from the floor like that? What the heck? Dude, when when can I get in? I don't know how how do I get in? Holy crap, I jumped his grab? Is that like a low grab? No, I didn't wanna jump. And then I played against a law player for the first time, and man, he played really defensively. I wasn't too sure what to do. Dude. What? Uh. And even though I was losing a lot and kind of getting demoralized, I just, you know, try to stay calm and keep blocking and see when I could get in. Finally, got my first round. Holy moly. Just stayed on the ground, dude. Dude, he just does not approach. How do I... Uh, 
Man, I'm, you it's, it's hard, man. I gotta. I think I gotta look at replays. So a lot of time, I felt like I had to lab out certain moves or to play against certain moves, and I noticed Law was doing this kick move a lot, and I couldn't really do anything if I block it, and turns out I can counter it by just crouching it and then punching it there. And then game 39, I played against another Law player, and I actually found this scrubby, like, gimmicky move that uh, ends up working somehow. <laughs> Why is this move kind of crazy, though? <laughs> But yeah, between the hits, they can block the next one. And even though I kind of labbed out, looked at replays of the last Law player, it did not help me against this one because he was just doing different moves, man. Dude, what? I, I don't know if I'm on autopilot or what. Game 40 is my first lay, and I looked at my second monitor, and I totally forgot I'm supposed to do, be doing forward, forward, forward when they are on the floor more. Yeah, I definitely gotta do that move more. And then my while rising combo, I almost get the full combo. Ah, I keep missing. That's such a good move. Sometimes the slow motion effect is so wonky sometimes. Whoa, what is happening? What? Let's go. At this point, I was thinking to just keep dodging like his high attacks and try to use my wall rising launcher more. I got that felt good. That felt good. <laughs> and then I had to do the, <laughs> the scrub dust. Know what to do. And then I got a new PB of 80% to second down. Let's go. And props to him for staying actually in the game and keep rematching because a lot of people just like leave after they lose like twice. Got second down. I didn't think I would get here to be honest. Oh man. Whew. I am learning. That was it was frustrating for a while, but I think I'm slowly starting to get a hang of it. 624 wins? Spence, a grinder. Let's go. And now game 45, Big Daddy Heiachi <laughs> that we play against for the first time. And this is what I get greeted with right after ranking up. Perfect. Oh my god. And he was mega taking advantage of those stupid wake up options that I'm doing from the ground. And honestly, I love replays because you have like this clarity after like playing a game. You think you did like certain stuff well, but after watching the replay, you realize you were straight stupid, dude. I'm getting like hit by like this and then this again. Like, what am I doing? I'm like, I'm holding, I like crouch block. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad. Holy crap. And then what is that re my reaction speed is just so bad. Holy crap. Then I played against a king and man, this guy's moves is, is deceivingly fast. Dang. Oh, I missed my you input, dude. Ugh. Honestly, I don't know how you guys react to Dragonov's low attacks, man. <laughs> Bro, these combos are crazy. What am I doing wrong? What the hell? And the crazy thing I'm figuring out now is that Dragonov's down two is minus 13 on block, and while crouching, Kazuya doesn't really have anything like to go against that. Next game, we played against a Steve for the first time, and I got this. A new PB of 60% to third Dan. And like always, I gotta check their knowledge to see if they know how to dodge the scrub killer move. People don't know about the cheese. And then the Steve player started adapting really well. When players play patient, it really makes me nervous. Like, I don't know really what to do. Perfect. 
I'm getting adapted on. And so I took a break after that game, and now it was day three of the challenge. And so I had to play Akuma, and this guy is so weird. He has like an EX meter from like Street Fighter, so he's a pretty interesting character. Holy crap, this combo's long. No! <laughs> Wait, is that like a Street Fighter DP? Like, does it have invincibility or something? Holy hell. Oh, I'm on right side. I'm still so uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't even do something. But I was slowly figuring him out. No! If I know how to- Oh! I got it! Let's go! Oh, I'm high about that one. Oh, that still does damn. I can't block that. Oh, roaches me. Kicks. <laughs> what the heck? No! <laughs> okay, that was fun, that was fun. When it comes to execution that you might be really comfortable with, when you're in nervous situations, you, you just can't hit it. Dang, dude, sometimes, like, in the heat of the moment, like, I can't crouch dash. I get, like, too smooth or something. Usually, once I begin the hell sweep, people usually try to block low, but he knew to block mid. He was, he was pretty smart. Oh. And I'm just, like, not consistent with my execution. I'm trying to do a wind god fist after block to punish his rage art, but it's, it's just hard, man. Oh, no. That was a good one. I feel like I that I grew a lot on that one. And then game 56, I play against Lucky Chloe for the first time. Man, I do not like this character, dude. Oh, it's a low, dude. I was like, that's a mid, right? There's no way that's true. Dude, what? <laughs> what do I do with that? Oh, I just, okay, I just, <laughs> I just do it low. Honestly felt like she was doing so many different moves I could not like learn against this character. Dang, I'm getting worked. You I hate this character, dude. Sometimes I would match against people that just have dog internet, dude. And it would literally make me drop the combo. Dude, what is this lag? Why do people play with this lag so bad? What is dude? This is unplayable. Like get me out of here, dude. Yeah, I straight up left that match, dude. I am not playing with that lag. It's just not worth it. And the next game, played against Huo Rong for the first time. And I ate this guy, too. This guy sucks, man. Oh! God, he got my thing. So now I'm incorporating Spring Kick from the ground more. Uh, but then, like, after I hit it, I die from it. I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of his kicks look the same. Why can't I hit that, dude? And honestly, I was getting pissed. Suck. I suck so bad, bro. You My god. But I still want to try and learn from the matchup. Great. Bro, what am I why am I jumping like you that? Lose. Oh my god, this game is so hard. It's like Ugh. 
at least in the beginning, because I don't know what everyone does or any what anyone does. So people have told me that I should be using the D-pad. I'm on Xbox controller and I've been using the analog stick this whole time. And it just feels much more like easier. Like I have to I don't have to move my finger as much. And looking at my replays, I noticed that I needed to like do moves I was not using more. Back one, two, I don't do this enough. What else do I not do enough? Forward, forward, three, I could be using more. Also, I'm gonna to try to do ending my health sweep with forward, forward, four instead, because it's just easier to hit. And then I need to do down four, two. This is like a nice frame trap, because they could be spamming, but I'm plus like five on it. So I think I gotta be using that more too. And I actually did this funny move. <laughs> how did I do this? KO. I don't even know how I did that move. <laughs> it worked though. Also, it took me this long to realize, but my back four move is really good at like this range. Oh, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Woo, let's go. I brought it back, bro. I was not familiar with when you land, you could land face down, feet away. And I was just not used to that. Dude, when I land on my stomach like that, like, what, what do I do? And then she was doing like this scissor kick move that was really giving me trouble. Chloe's combos are crazy, dude. What the heck? Even when I was landing with my feet away, I didn't know what to do. Bro, I, what? Am I not like quick recovering? What am I? Just get destroyed there. Bro, what the hell? Okay, but seriously, this player was probably the best player I played in this challenge. Dude, I'm getting my ass whooped, dude. But Loki, I was, I was getting kind of mad. What? Dude, it, there's no way... This is like a beginner. Like, what the crap? How do I get in? Oh, they're playing. This is the first time they're playing the character, but I'm sure they have like a ton of like other knowledge or something or a new account or something. I don't know. This is rough, but we'll take this as a learning. At this point, I'm trying to just get little wins, like learning how to counter certain moves that she does. Okay. No, I was trying to quick recovery and hold back. I'm just like dead there. And she always just stayed right outside my attack range. Dang, and she sidestepped me. Okay, that's the a start. Is <laughs> finally blocking it. Okay. What do I do there? I, I have to low block that when she's like. No, that's mid. That's so deceiving. Also, I got a hit confirm my one one two, but sometimes just it's still so hard to react to. Uh, I don't know when to respect, like, I don't know when to stop blocking against her. I'd have to look at the replays or something. Also, I think when you play against better players, is Hell Sweep just bad? <laughs> you just sidestep it. <laughs> this is crazy. And so I keep rematching her, and I'm just trying to, like, jab to s between her moves to see when can I go in. Okay, that's a no, I can't get out at that point. Uh, I gotta confirm that. It's so hard. It's fast. It's a fast. And then something happened that I didn't expect. Perfect. Okay, oh, I gotta respect it, dude. I realized I got perfected twice in a row. Would I get perfected three times in a row? I'm gonna get triple perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I got triple perfected, bro. And I think this guy knew I was weak on the wall, so he literally just did combos that would just push me to the wall as fast as possible. This guy just knows all the combos. I only know one combo. 
Yikes, bro. That's crazy. Bro. But we're learning about the matchup a little bit as we go on. I find out you could low parry some of her attacks. Later now do I realize that I'm doing the wake up option that makes me wake up in crouch. So I need to do the wake up in standing block. Perfect. <laughs> What do I? What am I doing on Okizeme? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I like. I, I don't know if I'm getting mixed hard or I'm like really dumb and I'm like not doing a certain thing. And then through a lot of trial and error, I finally found the counter to the scissor kick is between the animation. Oh wait, I could do it. I hit her in between the thing. I could do that. Well, what do you guys think? What wake up option should I have been doing here? I'm getting so destroyed, dude. I'm noticing Steve has a lot of high attacks, so mostly I just crouch against him. And then this happened. I'm dead. Oh, I was so close. Oh. Yes! Oh, <laughs> the first double KO. Let's go. I don't even know how Noctis did not hit me here. Was I in, like, invincibility? <laughs> Wow, ah, it was so slow. And now it was day four of the challenge. It's a new day. I feel refreshed and I felt good. I felt pretty good. It's crazy. Doing electrics. I can't do electrics, dude. And I was slowly getting better with hit confirming my 1-1-2. One, one, And man, I learned the spring kick off the ground, but I should not spam it because I'll just like get punished for it. KO. I used what I learned from the last Lucky Chloe fight to sidestep against Kazuya. And these games were pretty close until he just gave up and rage quitted. KO. <laughs> Stop punishing that. That's such a gimmicky move. <laughs> Bruh. And then game 79, we made a new PB of 80% there to third Dan. And it kind of took me a while to finally understand that I should just mix up stuff and just play really patient to really get the flow of like the enemy and then just react with that. I feel like it's clicking. Round it's starting four. to click with me. I could, instead of just spamming like one move the whole time. And it looks like finally later in the challenge, we were starting to see some progress. Oh, I ducked the high. I guess I ducked the high. Let's go third down for the first time. I was starting to notice that when I knock wow. down the enemy, I could crouch dash toward them into block so that they are pressured to do something and then I just punish them. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Round oh, three. how did that work? So we end up winning this match and we get a new PB of 75% to initiate rank. So next game I played against a Fakum Rom. And I barely remember what he really did. All I knew was that he had a lot of high moves. And I didn't know he had a hop kick that perfectly countered my hell sweep move. Oh, what the heck? And I don't know why I was nervous, but I was just really missing my inputs. Was, he's a scary character. Oh, he just sat on me, dog. So Jin does this like high kick move that I'm like not used to. I should not be get hit, getting hit by this move. Dang, I died for that hit. And he kept doing it and I didn't punish it. I see that he would do his rage art and it would push me so far. He would do this like big jumping kick move. I should just block it. It's probably minus unblock. Bro. How did I miss the KO? And I had a two game lead on him, so it look it might, he might come back here. We'll see. The mix up. The mix up. Get mixed. Get you mega schmigs, dog. Now I played against a Leo for the first time. And I'm getting more comfortable with when I knock them down, I have to like either mix up I'm I crouch dashing and then blocking in front of your face when they get up, or am I just gonna do a hell sweep and just really trying to get that flushed out. Dude, 
Zeki, it's all on O. And what I didn't really realize is that if I hit a move such as like my Wind God Fist really far back, like I hit them at the very end of like the hitbox, I can't follow up with the normal combo that I know. So I'm have to, gonna have to learn like a more like far reaching combo. If I hit it from that far, I can't. Oh my god, I keep failing. <laughs> I gotta block. I gotta block after crouch dash. I'm not mixing a block after crouch dash at all, dude. So after just forgetting that I should crouch dash into block, I start doing it. Okay, block. I need a block. Or sometimes not even just crouch dash into block, but crouch dash and then wait right outside of their attack range. Nice, I did it. I whiff punished it. Also, I don't even know what this guy's name is. Like, they don't ever say, like, what the names of the characters are. I have to literally look up and look at images to see which guy this Round is. <laughs> like, it doesn't say, fight. like, what's this guy's name? I don't know the character's name. Also, man, this guy's rage art is a big hitbox, man. What is that range? No way that hits. No way, dog. Also, the spring kick from Wake Up is so good at this elo. I, 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 it's a bad habit. I, I keep doing this. This is going to bite me in the butt in the future. Reminds me of early days of spamming a get up attack in melee. Oh, I clutched it. I freaking clutched it. Round four. All right. And man, I got so excited getting blue ranks for the first time with Kazuya. Punch. KO. Ooh, got it. Did I get any shit off that? Let's freaking go, dude. Dude, this day, like. I swear the next day you play, like you just download more or something. I forgot certain characters could actually do like a front roll from wake up. What? I, I, I forgot people could do like that front Round roll. So. Steve has such mix up options like feints or whatever. It's so cool. Oh, I got mega mixed. This was a funny moment. <laughs> what the frick? And finally, I'm figuring out when I should sidestep against Steve. Oh, sidestep. No, I'm safe from that, right? Oh. Oh, let's go. He also has these dodge moves that I haven't seen before. But to counter that, I just gotta do like more mid attacks. Oh, that fade back thing is sick. And then we kept having a rage art versus drive rush stand down. No way, does that one be mine? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what situation. It's because Kazuya actually crouches during his drive rush, so that's pretty convenient. Okay, which one beats what? Oh my god, is it? Is it because it's a least down to high? A small thing I noticed is I should not be doing high attacks when they're going to the foreground on wake up since it opens up the enemy from doing a lot of wall rising attacks. He has so much mix-ups on hit. Looking at my second monitor, I totally forgot I gotta poke with down back four. I remember to do it a lot more. KO. <laughs> it's been a while since I hit a wall rising combo, to be honest. I uh, finally did the connection move after my like launcher. Game 94, I played against Brian for the first time. And I realized that the spring kick can actually dodge snake edges. Brian also has this like high parry move, so I can just bait it and then just whiff punish him. And then I played against, I think, the least played character in the game. No shot. Is this the bear? Isn't he like the worst character or something like that? Oh! Oh, he just slapped me there. Oh. And I'm seeing that a lot of his moves are actually really slow. So I just kind of usually either have to like use my jabs or just run up and block. How did that not punish? Me? 
Let's go! I clutched it. So I played against Paul for the first time, and this was not a good experience. Like, what? Dude, how? why does he do this much damage? Ugh, got wrecked, dude. Holy crap! That drive rush is strong as hell! Yeah. He spaces out a lot. Like, this guy spaces a lot, too. Fight. And it makes me, like, uncomfortable. Because he's, he's a pretty patient player, I feel like. Sometimes I can't hit confirm the 1 1 2. It's like too hard. <laughs> Screwed reaction speed. He plays so, like, more patient. It's like really hard to go in. He did move that looked deceiving that I thought I could jab in between it, but um, it was a frame trap. Oh, I thought that was punishable. I was smashing in between that. And so, this was my last moments for playing this challenge with Kazuya. Oh my god, that was the last, <laughs> that was the last thing. You Man, I suck at this game, but it's fun, it's fun. At least I got to like blue ranks, like, I thought I literally was gonna stay at first stand for my whole life, but that was fun, that was fun. So we finished the challenge with Kazuya being 26% win rate, and Noctis has a 37.8% win rate, and the highest rank I got with Noctis is Mentor. So I'm not surprised a harder character like Kazuya, uh, I got like worse results pretty much for the same amount of time spent. And let me know what I could do to make this content better in the comments. And once again, thank you so much for my Patreon supporters. You guys make this possible for me to improve my content and the production. So thank you so much, guys.